What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. It is Monday, November 4th, 2024, and I have another emergency update to share with you guys. It's just past midnight here in Pennsylvania. We have some major breaking news coming in from the Middle East. It appears that Iran may have tested another nuclear weapon last night. So on Saturday, there was a 4.6 to 4.8 magnitude earthquake just southeast of Tehran. And the seismogram of that earthquake resembled the seismograms of North Korean nuclear tests. I've done some further research into this, and I'm now 99.9% .9 sure that Iran tested some kind of a nuclear warhead or some kind of massive conventional warhead in the desert of north central iran on saturday and what's interesting is not just the seismogram of that 4.6 to 4.8 magnitude earthquake but also the location of where that epicenter was was literally right next to a well-known missile testing range in Iran okay now we have another earthquake just a few hours ago Sunday night at 0928 p.m. Tehran time which would have been sometime in the afternoon in the eastern United States a 4.2 magnitude earthquake near Bardsir Iran also close to a ballistic missile facility so want to just show you guys some more stuff about this but also we had some very strange signals this evening on the primary nuclear war frequency and it sounded like some kind of trolling potentially from Cuba now my radio expert consultant was able to locate the source of this signal and it came from the Caribbean, so it sounds like Cuba may have been trolling us on our primary nuclear war frequency. I was able to scroll back in the live stream, the 24-7 live stream, and capture this transmission from Cuba. It sounded like some kind of trolling going on. They were playing some religious music and some like weird Gwen Stefani with some strange lyrics i don't know uh what that was but it was on the primary nuclear war frequency okay just a few hours ago in the evening eastern time sunday evening and also the situation with iran and israel is really getting crazy so first i want to just cover the situation with iran and israel before i do that i want to just give a big shout out to bridget bridget Thank you so much for your large donation on PayPal. I really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And so according to the latest reports, Iran has sent diplomatic messages indicating that it is planning a complex attack on Israel involving the use of more powerful warheads than previously deployed alongside additional weaponry. The Wall Street Journal, citing Iranian and Arab sources familiar with the plans, reported that Tehran will involve the Iranian army, not just the Revolutionary Guards, in response to the killing of four Iranian soldiers in the Israeli strike. Okay, so more powerful warheads and additional weaponry, a more complex attack on Israel. So this is very, very concerning. We also have some new satellite imagery coming in indicating military maneuvers and the movement of missile launchers near the ballistic missile base in Tabriz, Iran. Okay, so Iran is moving around missile launchers. Very serious. And senior Iranian officials confirmed to Axios... Indeed, there was a transfer of ballistic missiles in 74 different areas in Iran, and this is part of the preparations for an attack on Israel. So literally, word for word, a senior Iranian official said, 
Indeed, there was a transfer of ballistic missiles in 74 different areas in Iran. That is insane, okay? 74 areas, guys. This is going to be a massive attack on Israel, and that's why we moved basically a quarter or 25% of our B-52s to the Middle East, okay? And I have some new flight paths of these B-52s going over the Mediterranean from uh, the Straits of Gibraltar coming in from the Atlantic, from the U.S., Okay, we actually were listening to them on the 24-7 stream. You guys need to tune into the 24-7 stream so you can hear these things live in real time as they're going on. I have my own radio system here at home with a 400-foot antenna. So I can pick up all the nuclear forces radio frequencies here in the U.S. and also even in Russia and Europe. And the USS Sullivan's and Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer departed on Saturday from Naval Station Mayport for an independent deployment to the U.S. Central Command and 5th Fleet's area of responsibility. So we're sending another guided missile destroyer to the Middle East. And the office of the Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani has told media channels that they are expecting strikes soon against Iraqi territory from Israel. Okay, so the Iraqi Prime Minister is expecting strikes on Iraq by Israel because we're hearing a lot of credible information and intelligence that Iran is going to use its proxies in Iraq to strike Israel. Okay, so Israel's going to have to destroy those proxies in Iraq. We're hearing that some flights to and from Tehran, the capital of Iran, have been canceled. And American Airlines has suspended all flights to and from Israel until the end of summer 2025. Wow, that's American Airlines, guys, not some, you know, no-name airline, okay? This is a huge airline canceling all flights to and from Israel until the end of next summer. Wow. And Turkey's foreign minister, Hakan Fidan, announced that Turkey has submitted a letter signed by 52 countries to the UN demanding an international ban on weapons sales to Israel. And Hezbollah launched 105 rockets on Sunday towards Israeli territory and National Guard troops are on standby in Washington, Oregon, and Nevada for potential election unrest and Moldova had elections, the country of Moldova and the pro-Western president Maya Sandu was re-elected. I want to just dive a little bit deeper into this earthquake here so you can see Bard Seer, Iran, magnitude 4.2 earthquake. And here you can see Bard Seer. And just to the northeast of Bard Seer is the Kerman Missile Base and the Kerman Air Base. Okay, so this 4.2 magnitude earthquake in Iran, close to an air base in Iran, a missile base. And here was the seismogram from that 4.6 or 4.8 on Saturday. And you can clearly see what appears to be a two-stage explosion, which is the way nuclear weapons work, okay? You have your primer or your initial charge to compress the nuclear fuel, and that compression is what creates the fusion, okay, in a modern nuclear warhead, okay? So you have your initial explosion here, which is usually either conventional explosives or or a low yield fission bomb and then that compresses the rest of the nuclear material and causes the fusion reaction and you can see the much larger Richter scale reading here okay now let me just compare this to the North Korean nuclear test in January 2016 and you can see it looks exactly the same okay you see this right here this is 2016 January. You can see the same exact thing, these two readings here, okay, these two spikes, and then after that, nothing. And here was the Iranian nuclear test on Saturday, okay? Check that out, okay? It looks almost identical. There's the North Korean one, 
and there's the Iranian one. You can see those two spikes right next to each other. And then here's a natural earthquake. You can see the difference here. Okay, a natural earthquake doesn't have those sudden spikes. Okay, it's a more gradual increase and then a decrease. Okay, it's like a crescendo. Just gradual increase and the spikes get larger and larger and then they gradually decrease. Okay, and then here you have an unnatural seismic event where you can see these sudden spikes and this was iran okay earthquakes don't cause sudden spikes like this earthquakes gradually increase in intensity and then they gradually decrease okay so you can call me a fear monger you can say i don't know what i'm talking about i don't care i'm convinced that this was a nuclear test and the powers that be don't want you to know about it want to just play this audio clip from my live stream Sunday evening of this weird signal coming from Cuba, weird songs. Let me play this for you. And this was on the primary U.S. nuclear war frequency. And you can hear it says something like, are you voting for me? I don't know if that's a Kamala Harris vo voice or I don't know what that is, but you can hear something about, are you voting for me? And then Gwen Stefani in the background. Sounds like they're playing some kind of Kamala Harris campaign ad or something. Are you voting for me? I don't know. Very strange, but the signal originated from Cuba. It says, did you vote? Are you going to vote? Are you voting for me? This sounds like a Christian song. So it just keeps going on like that. Very, very strange. And here we have the B-52s that were moved to the Middle East. You can see two of them here, BARF-21 and BARF-22. We were actually listening to BARF-21 relaying his coordinates to what sounded like Barksdale Air Force Base when he was flying over Lake Superior. So you can see they came in through the Straits of Gibraltar. And then they went all the way towards the Middle East. And here you can see multiple aerial refuelers also accompanied them on their journey. You can actually see several of them were looping here, probably refueling them once they got through the Straits of Gibraltar. So very serious situation, guys. 25% of our B-52s have been moved or are being moved right now as I speak to the Middle East. This is extremely serious, guys. Iran conducting nuclear tests, okay? 
the mainstream media doesn't want you to know about it. The Biden administration doesn't want you to know about it, especially not before the election, okay, because then people would really not vote for Kamala Harris if news got out that Iran is testing nuclear weapons now. That would be extremely damaging to the Democrat Party, but that's the reality, guys, okay? But I will be back with another update. Follow me on Telegram and Twitter. I post all my updates over there, so if you follow me there, you'll never miss an update because sometimes YouTube does not send out notifications for whatever reason. The links to my Telegram and Twitter are in the description below this video. I'm going to be covering the election all day on Tuesday, so make sure you tune in. I'm going to be covering it live. So get prepared, guys. Things are going to get really crazy in the coming days with this election, with Iran and Israel, with Russia building up forces on the borders of the Baltic countries. We have North Korea getting ready to attack South Korea, testing an ICBM, getting ready to test a nuke soon again. So until the next time, take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere. Culinary out. And this update was sponsored by My Patriot Supply. Guys, My Patriot Supply has brought back their discount on their three month emergency food supply. And to get the deal, you got to go to preparewithnyprepper.com. The link is in the description below this video. But they have three months of freeze dried food with a 25 year shelf life packed into rugged watertight buckets that you can easily store in a small room for just $700 with free shipping included and they ship very fast also they're including some freebies they're going to include a survival bible a 424 page survival book an ultimate preparedness checklist a natural disaster field guide they also have a disaster replacement warranty, so if your food gets destroyed in a natural disaster, they will replace it for you with no cost. And also they have a 30-day return policy, no questions asked. So check out My Patriot Supply. Use the link preparewithnyprepper.com to get 25% off of their three-month emergency food supply, free shipping included. And the link is in the description below this video.